Hello everyone. Look who's being changed today. Yes, Danae. This is Danae Divine. And she is the Ellie Sue Kit by Bonnie Brown. And she was reborn by Miss Beverly from Beverly's Babies. Yes, I'm going to change her today. And she is the newest addition to my collection. Yes, I'm just adjusting the camera. Oh, let me see. I don't know, my screen looks a little different. All right. All right, today actually I wanted to participate in a tag. And you know, I didn't, oh, it's a 10 question tag. I just meant to say I didn't notice how many questions, but it is a 10 question tag uh, from Suzanne's Babies, yes. So I do want to participate in that. Now, I'm not sure if I like the way this camera is set up. Just hold a minute and I'll set it up a little bit different. Okay, I think that is a little bit better. All right, so again, this is Danae, Danaea Divine, and she is the Ellie Sue Kit by Bonnie Brown, and she was reborn by Miss Beverly from Beverly's Babies. So today I'm going to change her. Today is Wednesday. She's going to be changed into a onesie for onesie Wednesday, and also I'm participating in a tag by Suzanne babies it's a 10 question tag but I'm going to dress her into this onesie this is by Cardis in the newborn size it's a mint green and white stripe onesie and have like the cute little doggy and it has a little birdie on its nose yeah so she's going to wear this I'm going to accessorize it with this pink and white socks and pink headband yeah yeah, my color looks a little bit washed out there. It's cloudy today. The sun is not out today. And yesterday was the same thing. It was cloudy, cloudy all day. So I'm going to go ahead and just put a little mittens on her. Yes, I need to get used to these babies wearing their mittens to protect their paint. All right. So again, my 10 question tag. Uh, okay, let me start. First question. Have you broken any bones? No, I have never broken any bones. And I never came close to broken any. I've never had like my wrist or ankle or anything sprained. No. Uh-uh. All right, question number two. Now I'm just going to freshen up a pampas. This is the newborn pampas. What is your earliest memory? My earliest memory, I would have to say, um, is probably around four, four years old, I think. I can remember certain things, like before I started primary school. I remember the first day of primary, uh, yeah, so I would say probably around four years old. Three, I'm not sure about three, but maybe around four. Okay, next question. Question number three. If you had to lose sight or hearing, which one would you choose? Yeah, that's a difficult one. But if I had to lose one, I would have to lose hearing because I would prefer to be able to see. Yeah, I, I would prefer to be able to see because, I mean, you can learn sign language plus you can see what's happening around you and you could still communicate even with a person that may not know sign language or I may not know sign language. You could still communicate to some extent. Yeah. And then you can always write notes, stuff like that to communicate. So question number four, what is your shoe size? Wow, I had to laugh when I heard that one. <sighs> shoe size. My shoe size is a size 12. 
boom there you go i know you all are like what yes because i heard miss susan i think she wears a size five wow <laughs> wow yes okay so question number six no question number five who is your favorite actor or actress now you done it I have a few, honestly. Um, I have a, a few favorite actress. It's hard to choose just one, so I will mention uh, probably two. One being Katie Bates. She acted in the movie Misery. Yes. Oh, I love her. I absolutely love her. She also acted in the Titanic. Yes. Uh, what are the movies? There's a few movies that she acted in. She acted in one of Perry, uh, Perry Taylor or Terry. I forgot his name. Um, oh my goodness. I think it's called not, no. Oh, I forgot the name of his movie. Anyway, yes. I love her movies. It's just something about her. And my other actress is Shirley MacLaine. Yes, she acted in Steel Magnolias. Yes, I absolutely love her. She is so funny. But that serious kind of funny. <laughs> yes. Um, let me see who else. I have a few actually. Um a few who names doesn't come to mind yes so i'm gonna go and um brush danae's hair yeah she fits this onesie pretty good she's a perfect newborn size yeah i always wondered i was supposed to ask miss beverly if this is the original body that she came on because unless maybe they uh changed the body because i always pictured this sculpt to come with a wider body like the midsection was pretty wide and i find that this body is nothing like i had expected you know which which, which is what i prefer actually all right so i'm gonna brush her hair and then i'm going to put this pink headband on her so next question is if you had to pick to be excellent at one thing would it be writing, arts, or crafts? Okay, I think it would be writing, believe it or not. I think it would be writing. Yes, I think I would enjoy writing, actually. Uh, because I think I'm okay with arts and crafts. Not the best, I'll tell you that, but I think I'm okay. Even in school, in my art classes, I did well. I have certificates in art. I did well, but I think I would have, um, I would like probably to try writing. Yes. All right. So my next question is, number seven, is there a series you're watching you like people to know about? <laughs> well, right now I... I'm watching The Ozark on Netflix. It's a series. Uh, the new series, Series 3, just came out on March 27. And I completely finished watching that in like two days. Yes. So it's, 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 the series is 1, 2, and now the new series is 3. And it's awesome. I really, really enjoyed that. In fact, I'm looking forward to the fourth series and it's... It's not even in the making as yet. Yeah. All right. So, um, let me see. You know, another good series is, um, oh my, I mentioned it before. I'm trying to remember it now. Um, Green Leaf. That's a really good, uh, series. And, um, how to Get Away with Murder. Now these are series that I had watched in the past. 
uh, but I would recommend those they're pretty pretty good and what else is oh, you know what's another good one designator there's what's it called designated survival that's it yeah that's another good one all right so um next question number eight cats or dog now personally i have never had any experience with cats i did uh my two older children had dogs each i had given one to my daughter also one to my son but at a particular time i had no idea as to how to care for dogs none because um i wasn't aware that you had to take them out for like daily walks stuff like that i did i did make sure that they had all their shorts and they stayed in the yard they were outside dogs my husband asked me very early on like when we were talking about getting dogs for the kids he asked me whether i wanted inside dogs or outside dogs i chose outside dogs and i had like i said i had absolutely no knowledge as to how to care for them so um yeah but cut a long story short if i had to do it all over again i, I do like dogs i do I, I probably would probably try to adopt a dog again and do it the proper way meaning that um the first thing i would do is spray the outside yard that's what i would do before I put any dogs in the yard because the dogs kept getting sick they went to the vet and we had no clue as to why they kept getting sick because the vet had record of the dogs having their shots and the dogs would the vet would pick up the dogs every so often to give the dog its bath and to groom them so we had no idea as to why the dogs kept getting like uh, sick. So I would have to say that they did recommend spraying the yard and we did that. But I think we started that a little bit too late. So if I decide to have outside dogs, then I would spray the yard first. I would build a nice dog house. Certain things I would do, I would put in place and I would make sure I walk the dogs, stuff like that. Yes. You know, if I had a chance to do it over again. Now, now, I also was thinking about an inside dog, but those plans are nowhere in the making right now. So it's just something that's in mind. All right. So if I had to choose, I would probably say dog again, I, even though I've never had an experience with cats. I, I, I haven't. Uh, question number nine. What music do you like? I love country music. I do. I love Hootie and the Blowfish, Kenny Rogers. Um, I also love oldies, old music. I love um, the Commodores with Lionel Richie. I love Diana Ross. Um, all the oldies. I do. I do. Uh, okay, next question, number 10, final question. If you could pick the next actor to play James Bond, who would you choose? Now, honestly, I think my husband watched James Bond, but I'm not very familiar with the movie. Well, if I had a choice for an actor, I would have to say either Tom Cruise. I think he would be a good James Bond. He's a little on the short side, but I think he I think he would be a good actor. And also Ben Affleck. I hope I pronounced his last name right. Yeah. I find that he's pretty good. He's a good actor too. So it would be one of those two two persons. Alright, everyone. So that is it for my 10 question tag by Miss Suzanne.
babies. And again, here's my baby girl. <laughs> Guys, I'm just loving this sculpt. Isn't she just gorgeous? And it's Beverly painted her so beautiful. I love this hair. This hair reminds me of my Saskia. Yes, you know, this hair is, is very close to it. And I'm saying very close to it because I find that this hair doesn't get frizzy. It's beautiful like my Saskia hair was. The difference is this hair tends to like not lay as well as the Saskia. Yeah, it's almost as if it has some Asian in it. <laughs> Now you know that's a joke because it's it's mo here, so it's not human here. But yes, but I do love this hair. I do. I love it. I love it. Love it. Love it. Yes. So that's it, everyone. So thank you all so much for watching, and you have a super great day. And thank you so much, Miss Suzanne, for the tag, and I welcome more tags. You have a great day. Bye bye.